the philosophers have only interpreted the world, in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. The last capitalist we hang shall be the one, who sold us the rope. Reason has always existed, but not always in a reasonable form. I am nothing, but I must be everything. Go on, get out. Last words are for fools, who haven't said enough. Perseus swore a magic cap down over his eyes, and ears as a make-believe, that there are no monsters. To be radical is to grasp things, by the root. Religion is the impotence of the human mind, to deal with occurrences it cannot understand. If anything is certain, it is that I myself am not a Marxist. Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be this solution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. In proportion therefore, as the repulsiveness of the work increases, the wage decreases. Labor in the white skin can never free itself, as long as labor in the black skin is branded. Moments are the elements of profit. The best thing for rich people to do is become Batman. Necessity is blind until it becomes conscious. Freedom is the consciousness of necessity. The ruling ideas of each age, have ever been the ideas of its ruling class. You must be aware that the reward for labor, and quantity of labor, are quite disparate things. The tradition of past generations, wastes like the Alps on the brains of the living. Political power, properly so called, is merely the organized power of one class, for oppressing another. Men make their own history, but they do not make it as they please. To be radical is to go to the root of the matter. For man, however, the root is man himself. The ideas of the ruling class are in every epoch the ruling ideas. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. Merely quantitative differences, beyond a certain point, pass into qualitative changes. I am a machine, condemned to devour books. The theory of communists, may be summed up in the single sentence, abolition of private property. As individuals express their life, so they are. The more of himself man attributes to God, the less he has left in himself. Ignorance never yet helped anybody. Nobody, not even a musician of the future, can live upon future products. Machinery which is not used is not capital. The new era differs from the old chiefly, in that the lash begins to imagine itself, possessed of genius. Every opinion based on, scientific criticism I welcome. Philosophers have hitherto, only interpreted the world in various ways, the point, however, is to change it. Society as a whole is more, and more splitting up into two great hostile camps. Every emancipation is a restoration of the human world, and of human relationships to man himself. The alienation of man thus appeared, as the fundamental evil of capitalist society. Workers of the world unite, you have nothing to lose but your chains. The first requisite for the happiness of the people, is the abolition of religion. Every one of our relationships, with nature and man, must be a definite expression of our real, individual life. All science would be superfluous, if the outward appearance, and the essence of things directly coincided. As a matter of fact, the methods of primitive accumulation are anything, but idyllic. Hic rotus, hic salta. Here is the rose, here dance. 
The forming of the five senses, is a labor of the entire history, of the world down to the present. Capital is dead labor, which, vampire-like, lives only by sucking living labor, and lives the more, the more labor it sucks. Wages are a direct consequence of estranged labor, and estranged labor is the direct cause of private property. History is not like some individual person, which uses men to achieve its ends. History is nothing, but the actions of men in pursuit of their ends. The true law of economics is chance, and we learn people arbitrarily seize on a few moments, and establish them as laws. All mysteries which lead theory, to mysticism find their rational solution in human practice, and in the comprehension of this practice. Education is free. Freedom of education shall be enjoyed under the condition, fixed by law and under the supreme control of the state. The education of all children, from the moment, that they can get along without a mother's care, shall be in state institutions. Society does not consist of individuals, but expresses the sum of interrelations, the relations within which these individuals stand. The increase in value of the world of things, is directly proportional to the decrease, in value of the human world. Religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world, and the soul of soulless conditions. It is the opium of the people. There is no royal road to science, and only those who do not dread the fatiguing climb, of its steep paths have a chance of gaining its luminous summits. It is not the consciousness of men, that determines their being, but, on the contrary, their social being that determines their consciousness. The oppressed are allowed once every few years, to decide which particular representatives of the oppressing class are, to represent and repress them. Once the inner connection is grasped, all theoretical belief in the permanent necessity of existing conditions, collapses before their collapse in practice. Religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world, just as it is the spirit of a spiritless situation. It is the opium of the people.